Hello, I'm Jerry Ratcliffe, Chief Scout Executive of the Boy Scouts of America. For nearly 65 years, the Catholic Church and Scouting have worked together to help develop the character traits of duty to God, duty to country, duty to others, and duty to self and young people. I am pleased that our relationship continues to grow. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate the Catholic Church for its major national membership initiative, which was launched in the spring of 1995. This initiative has resulted in significant increases in both youth membership and in scout units. Now more than ever, scouting is a vital part of the church's youth ministry and is reinforced in the new publication, Renewing the Vision, a framework for the Catholic youth ministry, which is published by the National Conference of Catholic Bishops. This close partnership helps scouting to remain a relevant force for building Christian values in a new generation. Our latest research conducted by the international research firm of Lou Harris and Associates tell us that of Boy Scouts themselves, 60% agree that scouting helps build a relationship with God. 74% believe it develops moral principles and 81% state that it builds pride in America. Scouting provides a unique setting for good Catholic men and women to model their faith and ministry to young people. We trust that you will use the program of the Boy Scouts of America in your parish to accomplish the goals you have in serving youth and their families. I firmly believe that there's such a thing as a bad kid, but I believe that children will go bad if they don't have good opportunities. Scouting offers a number of opportunities to those who participate to grow in ways of character. The Scout Law itself uh, indicating how one should be loyal and trustworthy and also I would note reverent. Actually going back to the very earliest days of the Scouting movement the Catholic Church has been involved. Um, for instance a lot of people do not know or appreciate the fact that Baden Powell the founder of Scouting in England consulted with some Benedictine monks about the structure of the scouting movement. Scouting is not a personal matter only. Scouting engages youngsters in community beyond themselves. In other words, if it's a cub pack, they're, they're, they have to relate to others. Uh, true, they do this in school, they do this in church, but those are, are in many cases, kind of mandatory. This is an optional thing they choose. So they commit themselves to be true to themselves, but also true to those with whom they work. The Catholic Church is into what is called total youth ministry, and that's a term that's been bandied about the last 15, 20 years, which means offering as many things as possible so that we will impact as many youth as possible. And in total youth ministry, one of the highlights is scouting because of its proven track record, because of its effectiveness in training leaders, in instilling moral values, and also in uh, the tremendous fun that young people can have with scouting. The scouting is youth ministry at its very best. The Boy Scouts of America program is a structured program, but it's also loose enough to enable a, a family to develop, uh, a boy to act as an individual while being part of the group, and, uh, and to flower and grow. Scouting helps the church's youth ministry by bringing in the youth to the parish. But our youth program always, at least in the Catholic Church, has always meant high school and junior high. With the scouting program, now we can get even below the junior high level to include all children. So it's total Catholic education, total Catholic formation, uh, everyone belonging. The troop and the pack are both active with the parish life. The children do cleanups. They're a visible force around the parish. We do this on purpose so that the people in the parish don't think of scouting as just those little kids who make crafty things and go camping. What I think a scout troop helps the young person to hear and to practice what the church teaches. Through a good scout leader and through a participation of the parish in the scout troop, the knowledge of what the church teaches can be communicated to the youngsters. Uh, the beautiful aspect of scouting unlike academics or athletics, is that in scouting, a young person can always succeed at something. I believe in the contents of the program of scouting, and I think it's a very healthy 
program for children and, of course, for young men because it's something that really helps them to develop their own character, but it also helps them to develop relationships with others. The values that the Catholic Church has, especially of, of um, truth and justice, charity, love, concern, compassion, uh, this is what the Scouts really uh, are about, and we can get them involved in social work, uh, not too much involved in looking into themselves, but looking outside themselves. Whether you're in a parish or a school or a Knights of Columbus Council or Holy Name Society, you, if you're a sponsoring organization, have a lot to say about the selection and the training of your leaders. A person teaches more by what he is, what she is, than by what is said. And this comes through to young people very clearly. So very key to making what's in the manual come alive is the participation, the leadership of adults who know and live the principles of scouting. I also see the possibilities of having a troop in a Catholic school, because the Catholic school is one very much committed to uh, the same values as the parishes of developing the whole child. And scouting uh, is a program which has been proven, it's tested, it's uh, cost effective to deal with the whole child. It's definitely a highly educational program that not only teaches them what's out there, but also helps them to discover what's in them, the value that is in them. And I think today, maybe more than in my lifespan, that it's very important for young men and women to discover the greatness of who they are. I find there's a very distinct connection between the Catholic schools, my values, and scouting. If we recall uh, the Beatitudes, where we uh, are called upon to give of ourselves to others, uh, by our example, the boys that come to us for, their, for leadership and, and to be taught see us in a, in a nonverbal fashion performing works of mercy, um, performing good deeds, so to speak. We have a program called Scouting for Food. The boys go out and collect canned goods, non-perishable items. These are sorted out and packaged up and delivered to various food organizations. Along with, with doing the service projects and the good deed, we also um, make sure that we stress when we look at the Scout Oath and Law, um, the two points, our duty to God and a Scout is reverent. We have a, a Scout Mass that we instituted in this parish and has spread to some others where the boys are all supposed to be at a specific mass in uniform, first Sunday of the month, and this says to the parish, they also show reverence to God. In Cub Scouting, you have the Pavuli Dei Award, and in Boy Scouting, uh, we have the Adaltari Dei Award. It broke down the Scout Oath and the Scout Law in relation to, like, the Ten Commandments and the Beatitudes and rules that the Bible teaches us to live by. And I thought that was very interesting in how both the Scouting and the, the Bible went together and it seemed like it was almost written that way. Parish pastor and associate pastor or youth minister in a parish doesn't have to reinvent the wheel. There's a wonderful structure here that they can take and own as their own, even though it's scouting which comes to us from, from not from the Catholic Church originally, but yet we can, we can make it our own and, and really make it a part of our, our, our youth ministry program. One of the main reasons that I'm a priest today is because of the Boy Scouts of America, because of some of the experiences I had there because some of the priest chaplains that I met in the program. Um, so it's a, it's a great vocational tool as well in the most natural of ways, young people developing. Because of the cooperative arrangement we have between the church and the scouting movement, we can say it's our program too, with opportunities for spiritual enrichment. Um, I, when I spoke to the Jamboree, I said the Sunday Mass for the young people should be a high point not simply of their experience, but as of their experience as scouts. It's a time when one really sees the scout oath coming alive, doing one's duty to God, when one really has an opportunity to grow in that sense of being reverent. One of the greatest feelings that a leader can have, regardless of how long they're involved in the program or, or at what level in the program um, they're involved, it's to have found a boy somewhere during their development from 11 to 18 who had a problem, who needed a shoulder,
who needed a little extra help. And that leader gave that little bit of that little bit extra of themselves to get that boy through. And somewhere down the line, you run into that same boy, and there he is in a business suit, very successful. And he walks up and he shakes your hand and says, "Thank you, thank you for giving me what no one else was willing to give me." And that really puts the scouting program right where it's at. I can't think of, of any other program or uh, opportunity that gives us the rich resources and availability that, that, that the Catholic Scouting does. You know, to the other pastors who do not have scouting in their parishes, I really would like them to consider or reconsider because these children have so much to offer. And not only that, do they have so much to offer, but they are the future of our church. And years gone by, we called them when we had a Latin church. They were the spes gregis. They were the hope of the flock. I would certainly encourage my pastors, any pastors that would be, want to take my advice to get interested in scouting, not be concerned about, uh, well, where can I find a leader? There will be leaders in the parish. Where can I find the money? It's not all that expensive. Where can I find the place? Places can be found as long as we really want to find a place. One other positive feature I see about scouting is the relationship between scouting at the national level and our National Catholic Committee, which has set up a network of support that reaches all around the country into just about every diocese, helping our people who are leaders in scout scouting and local parishes and dioceses to see how scouting and the religious aspects come together. So I would simply say, try it. You'll like it and you'll never regret it. In gratitude for his shining witness of the gospel, hear the words of our dearly departed Joseph Cardinal Bernadin, who greatly loved and supported the Boy Scouts of America. On the basis of many conversations that I've had with the adults who have been in the scouting movement, I, I think that they see themselves as real ministers in the sense that they are helping young people uh, to develop a life that's in accord with gospel values. Scouting, in, in my judgment, uh, would certainly qualify as a ministry. Uh, basically, it's an outreach to youth, an outreach to young people. And it's an outreach that, that I think provides a, a wonderful uh, framework uh, for them in, in terms of their involvement in the life and in the ministry of the church, uh, but also in terms of their involvement as citizens in our society uh, today. So I see a, a, a real um, uh, connection between what we would call ministry and the work or the movement that we call uh, scouting.